because the whole spectrum of racism in Germany is still so active, we tend to focus only on the more extreme end of the spectrum and ignore things like nuance. Um, this also really oversimplifies conversations surrounding race and racism in Germany and, and we also overlook things like language. And so even words like racism are not and cannot be neutral because they are attached to uh, the structures that govern our society, which were built and designed to serve whiteness and white people. And so we can't even speak about racism towards white people as you would um, speak about racism towards people of colour because it's just not the same thing. And... Um, and when speaking about uh, racism, there's a whole set of questions that often don't get discussed, uh, which are really important to understand um, why do we use the words that we use and, 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 and what do they mean or do not mean, you know, and, and such questions could be why there has never been a concentration camp to exterminate whiteness, just to give you an example. And... Um, and the same words can have different meanings, depending on the context and so on, um, but also depending on who says them. And it's not just about the meaning, but also the repercussions of uttering such terms. Words can also be labels, and um, not to have a label attached to your identity is a massive privilege, which a white German could say, well, if you're in Germany, that's obvious, but when you factor in whiteness and colonialism, that also applies on the American continent, for instance, and uh, where actually Cartago comes from. Uh, but for instance, if you're a white Brazilian with a German surname, your identity will not be questioned uh, the same way that a German person of colour will have their identity constantly questioned and demonised. And so terms like bio Deutsch and Kartoffel Deutsch really go to show that uh, language, especially racialized language, exists to serve very specific purposes. And so the question here is to, is to question which purpose the terms that we use serve, um, which narratives do they support, who's benefiting from that historically and also now.